and fashion may seem like natural rivals, but as always, the secret lies in striking a balance. New technologies also enable us to use byproducts from agriculture for textile production, with pineapple leaves and banana stems offering alternatives to cotton and leather respectively. There's also a recently developed textile called Cocona, and that's just one more reason to go nuts about coconuts. We're going nutty in the kitchen today and celebrating our love of coconut. Coconut is used in sweet and savory dishes and the milk is one of my must-have staple ingredients. If you're a fan of coconut like me, you're in for a treat. On the menu we have Carolyn style beef fillet, a fish and prawn pilau and for dessert coconut ladoos. I'm starting out with the fish and prawn pilau and for that we've got sunflower oil going into the pan. And now we're ready for the first two spices, bay leaf and cinnamon stick. And these spices can take a fair bit of heat, so fry them until they turn a shade darker and then add a teaspoon of cumin seeds. They start to sizzle as soon as they hit the oil. And now the chopped onion. To speed up the browning of the onion, season them with some salt. And I'm using coarse salt for this, a teaspoon and a half. And once the onions are browned, they don't have that raw sweetness. Now in goes the coconut, and I'm placing the coconut on top of the fried onions, just so it doesn't hit the oil and burn. Next, add some garlic, and fry that until it's fragrant. Now two tablespoons of red chili powder going in. Stir the chili powder into the fried onion with the coconut and garlic. And now, chopped tomatoes. Now add two teaspoons of ground cumin and two teaspoons of ground coriander. Half a teaspoon of turmeric and stir that into the tomato. The moisture in the tomato has dried up and the tomatoes resemble a thick paste. And now layer half the lentils over the cooked tomato. And then the rice goes on top. The secret to making a great pilau is to always make sure your rice is cooled down before you actually add it. And now the remaining lentils going on top of the rice. Pour over some melted butter. And lastly, 200 mils of coconut milk. And make sure you use a really good quality coconut milk. Some of the inferior ones turn your curries and your palaos quite soggy and watery. Now lower the heat. And cover with a tight fitting lid. Let's prepare the fish. I'm using lionfish steaks for this recipe and any firm lionfish will work well. Firstly, season the steaks with some salt and then spice it up with some red chili powder and turmeric. Sprinkle that lightly over. Now turmeric. Just a pinch of turmeric going on top. Use the back of a spoon to press those spices onto the fish. That's ready. I'm going to fry this off in some hot oil. The pan's heated up already. Sunflower oil going in. And I've greased the pan with non-stick spray just to prevent the fish from sticking. Now in goes the fish. Now the important thing about frying fish is not to move it around too much. This can cause the fish to break. If it does start to splatter, just add a little flour to the oil and this will prevent it from splattering. Time to turn the fish over and always make sure you do that when it's golden brown. Now for the prawns. Just stir the prawns around and season lightly with salt. Prawns take about 60 seconds to cook and as soon as the tails start to curl and the color changes, they're done. Now, curry leaves going on top. I always add curry leaves at the end so they remain fragrant. 
gently place the pieces of fried fish on top of the rice. And now for those prawns. Scoop them up and place them over the rice. They add a lovely fragrance to anything you cook. And now that lovely liquid from the pan going over. Cover the pot and let that infuse for about five minutes. I'm starting out with the coconut ladoos and for that we've got some full cream milk going into a pan. And now coconut milk. Half a teaspoon of freshly ground cardamom and then freshly grated coconut. Stir that around and always stir this as it cooks just to prevent the liquid from scorching and burning. Now simmer this while stirring until the liquid reduces and the coconut softens. I've been stirring this for about 20 minutes and the moisture has evaporated and now the coconuts just toasting in the pan and now add the sugar. Stir the sugar into the coconut. Once the sugar starts to melt, the coconut starts to look quite glossy. And once again, you need to cook it down until the mixture is thick. And it's come together quite nicely. The pan starts to brown slightly because of the sugar. And once it cooks down, the coconut takes on a beautiful roasted flavor. And leave this now to cool. And later we're going to mold this into balls. Now for the Carolyn beef fillet, I'm starting out with some corn flour and I've already got some sliced beef fillet here. I just sift a little corn flour over the beef fillet. I've heated up a pan and into the pan goes some sunflower oil. And now place the beef fillet into the hot oil. Turn the pieces of beef fillet over. The beef fillet is now cooked and just remove it from the frying pan. I love using beef fillet for this recipe because it's so tender. Now sliced onions going into the same frying pan. We're going to saute these onions until they soften. And now season the onions with some salt. A teaspoon of coarse salt going on top and fry the onions until the moisture evaporates. The onions are almost ready. I'm going to pound some ginger. And for this, just use a mortar. I've got some thin coins of ginger sliced. Just roughly pound that. The ginger is ready. Now add the ginger to the pan. And now some garlic. Also going on top of the onion on the side of the pan to prevent it from burning. Coconut, I've got desiccated coconut going on top of the onion as well. This can burn quite easily. And stir that through. Next in goes some chili and then coconut milk. 200 mils. Once the coconut milk is in, you can scrape the pan and you get a rich caramel colored sauce. Next, add two teaspoons of tamarind liquid. And to balance the flavors in this, some sugar. This dish reminds me of being on holiday on the coast some black pepper to season the sauce. And now place the cooked beef fillet back into the sauce. Let 
go with the heat and add some curry leaves. These remind me of Durban. Scoop some of the sauce and pour it over the beef. Let the beef heat through. And then lastly, garnish with some freshly grated coconut. And that's our Carolyn beef fillet. Once the coconut mixture cooled down, I moulded them into balls after greasing my palms with butter and dipped them into tinted almonds. And now, just a tiny bit of silver dust going on top of those almonds. You can also garnish this with chopped pistachios or whole pistachios as well. And the best part about coconut ladoos is you can make them in advance and keep them for up to two weeks. I hope you enjoyed these recipes. There's the Carolyn beef stir fry. We've got the fish and prawn pilau made with coconut and then the coconut ladoos as well.